Hey, welcome back. This is Crazy Bat Lady, and today I'm going to show you how to play Noel and how to min max her, what teams work, and the best builds and weapons. Now, starting off, she's a great burst support. If you know how to use her and have her built properly, she can carry you and help your team in so many ways by healing and dealing an insane amount of damage all at the same time. She's a very underrated character. And especially at C6, she just dishes out so much damage. I highly recommend this character in any team comp, as she just fits anywhere. The only problem being her energy, which I'll go into more. So let's jump right into the builds. Now here's my Noelle. Um, I've got her defense at 2,311 because she skills very highly off of defense and a bit of attack, uh, good crit rate, crit damage ratio. Uh, the one thing my Noel is lacking is energy recharge, and I'll go into that a little bit more later, because energy recharge is very important on Noel. And her sweeping time, which is her ultimate ability, works in tandem with her normal attacks, um, because it basically amplifies your normal attacks. And if, like, let's say you have level 1 for your normal attack and level 13 for your sweeping time, you're not going to be doing very much damage. And I would say for weapons, the white blind is going to be her best in slot because of the insane passive 4 stacks of 12% defense and attack, plus a defense substat. And this one just works so amazing for her. The Unforged might be pretty good, especially if you have refinements for it. I haven't built it, so I'm not sure. I can't say. But once I do, I'll make sure to make a comparison video. But I'm guessing the, the White Blind is going to be better. Serpent Spine is great because of its crazy passive and crit rate. Um, I highly recommend an Energy Recharge weapon too, if you don't have these. As an Energy Recharge really helps Noel a lot. Uh, if you have Skyward Pride, Skyward Pride is an amazing choice for Noel because if it's insane passive, increases all damage by 8% after an elemental burst, which is when you need it, and vacuum blades, and a huge amount of energy recharge, and base attack. Now I'm using the Retracing Bolide set for the artifacts. I find this to be a really nice set because you get an additional 40% normal and charged attack damage when protected by a shield which is also reinforced. Now you can use a four-piece gladiators too, and that should work just fine. If you have neither of those, just stack as much defense and crit on her as you can. As you can see, I don't have the best artifacts, but they work just fine. Now for the sands, you're gonna wanna run defense, especially if you have Constellation Six. And for the goblet, Definitely Geo Damage. Unless you just want to go ham on the shield, then just put defense on everything. And then crit rate, crit damage, whichever you need more of on the circlet. And back to the sands. The thing about the sands is um, earlier on, like if say you just got Noel, attack or energy recharge might be a better sub, uh, stat for here as a main stat. Uh, defense is still good, but those two might be better for before you get constellations, as you might end up dealing more damage that way or having more uptime. Now she has some insane constellations. She's one of the characters who has the most important constellations in the game. Let's start with her first one, which increases her healing effects by a hundred percent when you have her ultimate and her shield up. Um, the second one decreases her stamina consumption of charge attacks and increased charge attack damage, which is alright, but it's not her best constellation for sure. The next one just increases her shield strength by 3, pretty standard. Now her constellation 4 is amazing. Um, when your shield gets destroyed, you deal 400% attack of geo damage in an AoE. Which is huge! This does a ton of damage, I'm not kidding. And our Constellation 6 being the most insane. 
because it increases Noelle's attack by an additional 50% of her defense that already scales off of defense. And additionally, you can increase the duration by up to 10 seconds by defeating enemies. So this one, this one just turns her into a monster. Now, as said before, the regular attack and the ultimate work in tandem. Pretty big modifiers on here to begin with. Especially the plunging. If you can pull off plunging attacks, you could do quite a bit of damage. And with her breastplate, uh, the healing and the shield itself scale off of defense pretty high. Very nice. Um, of course, not as beefy as, say, Zhang Li's shield, but it works pretty well. And then with her sweeping time ability, that is where the damage comes from. Uh, you have an initial slash that does an AoE around everybody, and by every level you level up, um, more of your attack gets converted by your defense. So you can see 76 to 80 between these two levels. In addition to the skill damage going up. Now her first passive um, is basically life insurance. If one of your characters HP falls below 30%, it creates a pretty beefy shield around them. That's equal to 400% of Noelle's defense. And that also has 150% damage absorption effectiveness against all elemental and physical damage. This can happen every minute. And this is amazing. Just, just having her on the team just for this effect is viable. Because this can help you stay alive. I think if you get one shot, you still get outright one shot. But I'm unsure. And for nice and clean... Nice and clean is a good ability too. Um, that'll decrease the cooldown of breastplate by one second by hitting opponents with a single attack. Only counts as one hit, but if you're hitting a lot of enemies, that can reduce it pretty quick. And also, she can give you extra defense boosting dishes by 12% uh, chance when cooking. Now for her teams, I like to run her in an all geo team because I can have all of their abilities up all the time. Ning Guang working as a great battery because of her um, jade screen. If you have Constellation 2, you can cast this constantly for more particle effects, which is so, so nice. And she deals a bit of damage with her jade screen as well, especially if you have her well invested. Um, as for Albedo and Zhongli, they're, they're not the greatest batteries because their abilities apparently run on RNG and may or may not give you particles. Raiden Shogun, of course, is great for regenerating your energy. I like to run her on a team with Noelle as well. This is mainly if you're running Noelle as a DPS. I recommend running her as a sub DPS burst support. But for, um, just for purposes of showing what she's capable of. I want to show the different teams. You can only see use Fischl, uh, Xingqiu, and Albedo for an all additive damage team, which is another great way to go. Because I, I love lots of additive damage. Um, and here I'll show you how her life insurance shield works. As you can see, um, Raiden just got hit pretty hard, but she has a shield around her. Shield lasts for 20 seconds. And it's pretty tanky. Um, like, she'll take a few hits here before it wears off. And this guy hits pretty hard. Uh, so yeah, after a few hits, it breaks. And then you go and heal up again with Noelle. It's a great cycle. Curse Smack. And her shield alone is not the most uh, effective shield in the game, so that's why I'm running Zhang Li with her, is to have a 100% shield uptime. Since the Retracing Bolide requires you to have a shield. This can also work with Geo Particles. Or the, rather, the things you pick up when you make a Geo reaction with Crystallize. Sorry, I worded that wrong. And 
Another thing about Noelle is that when you don't have her ultimate up, her basic attacks do not do much damage. As you can see here, it's pretty sad damage. You could go for a physical Noelle if you want, but I really don't recommend doing that. As that would have very diminishing returns. And it's just so much better to run her with defense for her ultimate and shield. shield there. The shield does damage itself, so you want to be like right next to the enemy when you cast a shield. Now here's um, some particle collecting with Ningguang. So you cast the shield, the jade screen rather, um, you get some energy particles back. And another great thing about pairing Ningguang with Noel is that you can walk through the jade screen and get a geo damage bonus. So that's really nice. However, as you can see right here, Noelle's energy is a bit finicky to get back. As you can see, I've casted the Jade Screen quite a few times, and Noelle still does not have her ult up. As I mentioned before, energy recharge is very, very important. If you want to run her as a main DPS, that is. Otherwise, it'll just kind of passively happen. Even with Raiden Shogun, sometimes it won't get her ult up. And Raiden is the master of getting ults back up. Let's see. Now here I'll show you um, a little demonstration of the additive damage team with Fischl and Xingqiu. I couldn't bring Albedo here because you can't place the panel on the floor but she's going to be doing just fine against the Perpetual Mechanical Array. And when the shield explodes, it does so much damage. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I see sometimes it hitting, like, 45k when the shield explodes. And here's against Child. Um... Gonna be working to get those particles back. Noel is definitely better against hordes of enemies rather than bosses because of this energy issue I explained before. But once you do get it up, you can absolutely annihilate anything standing before you. For the final phase, I'm going to be just smacking him around with other characters and not critting with Fischl. <laughs> um, I think it he's actually going to die before Noelle's ultimate gets back up. So I do hope to get some more energy recharge on her in the future. But for now, I'm pretty happy with her build. And here's some Spiral Abyss content. Um, so you can see her attack just sweeps in such a huge area. You can hit so many enemies at once. It's just amazing. And here's her against the Ruin Guards, just absolutely shredding them. She can hit them both at the same time. Just super nice. Got Alfredo adding some damage in there too. Even got the ultimate back up before it was expired there. It seems pretty random with how the geoparticles work. And if you're curious about floor 11, yes, she works amazing in floor 11. She can keep your team topped off at all times. So you can see, um, this is in chamber two, everyone's healthy and full of HP. No problems. She's probably one of the best characters to run in the current Abyss 11 because of her damage and healing potential. And 
just like that, you look on the right side of the screen, all their health is back. So really good stuff there. The, a fully built Noel, especially Constellation 6, you just deal so much damage, it's insane. Also, Noelle's accessibility is great, because pretty much everyone has at least one copy of Noelle, and she shows up a lot on banners in the shop, and when you start the game, there's the Noelle banner, and she's just all around a great character to have. I have I was using her since the start, and I'll show uh, how big of a bump in damage you get from her C6 in a moment. It's worth noting that you will see diminishing returns if you use too much defense. As said before, if you use defense on every artifact, that's going to be good for her shields, but nothing else. So, here you go. About 4,500 damage. Um, I think that's with Pyro Resonance. I, I can't remember. Um, you can definitely get that higher, too, with, say, Bennett or Kujo Sara, Food... Abyss buffs, so on and so forth. So really, the sky's the limit. You can probably deal a lot more damage with your Noelle than what is seen in this video. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, as I would appreciate it a ton. And have a nice day, and enjoy Noelle. Bye!